Yes, llamas today is what we're painting. So I have my daughter uh, V here with me. She's been a guest star here on our page before. Uh -huh. Uh, and she's got a fun design she wants to share with everybody today. So she's going to be painting on this nice big rock. I'm going to be doing it on a smaller rock here on the side. And take it away. So first we have to do our outline. My mom do an outline for me so I can, that I can copy you. Since I'm still not that good. I'm not better than her, of course. <laughs> well, and sometimes it's nervous when you're live, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do we do next? Then we're going to make our ears. Yes, okay. Make sure they aren't too big that you can't do the background. All right. All my ears. Next, we're going to make the eyes. So. What I do for it is make a, turn my walk upside down and make a smiley. You can make the eyes however you want. Okay. So I'm going to do them the same as you here. So smileys. Okay. And then we're going to do the inside of the ears. Make sure they aren't touching the outside of the ears. We're going to make the inside of our ears pink. Perfect. And then we're just going to make a circle here for our nose and mouth. We're going to do this. Okay. I'm going to draw a heart for mine, but you don't have to do that. We're going to color it in black. I made a little too small. It's okay, he's got a cute little nose. So you color in the top part black? And to make it look smart, yes, inside. Okay. And then you, to make it smiley, you do that. Oh, kind of curly with the edges. Yes. You like smiling mamas. Oh, I just move. Oh. And, and then we're going to make the eyelashes. Because llamas always have big eyelashes, don't they? Yes. They don't have to be... Try not to make them touching. Oh, okay. Good? Yes. So now we... Oh yeah, one more thing, the chin. The basic. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Um, you can do this if you want to make it more textural. All along the body. Okay. All right. So not on top of the, not, not like on one. the face. Okay. He's now pretty cute. Now we're gonna be coloring. Okay, I'm gonna do my ears first. Okay, I'll start on doing some background design. So <clears throat> we just have some bright colors here to add some background and fun designs, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do two different designs to kind of show what you can I'm do. I'm gonna do hearts and flowers and she's gonna do stripes. Stripes and patterns. All right, so do you think I should do the designs in my stripes with white or black? I'll let you make that decision. Um, how about Right. Okay. Since that goes here. I got it. I want to show them something though while I've got them on live here. So yesterday I did share with you guys um, that I have a lot of books that I use for inspiration for rock painting that aren't necessarily rock painting books. And I've got a page in here. You can keep coloring, honey. I've got a page in here um, that I'm going to show. So I'll show you the cover of this one. Uh, it's actually a Scandinavian coloring book, but it has a lot of textures and designs and things like that. So this is kind of what I'm going to be going off of while I'm doing um, my line designs on my llama. And outlines. Yeah, so. Line and outline, llama, line. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> So that's what I'm using for my inspiration on my lines. Um, 
But yes, often I find that a lot of inspiration besides in rock painting. Do you like books. this one? It's a it's it's very a nice. double heart. A double heart? Uh huh. It's very cute. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling in my lines while you keep working on your background here. Mm -hmm. And we will wrap these guys up here pretty quick. Yeah, since we aren't going to do that very fast. You always want to take your time, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to like this one even better. Oh, I am. Yeah, since you love that one. So if you guys paint any of these llamas, we would love for you to come back and share it in the comments so we can see how you did your backgrounds. And you can make your llamas however you want to. You could make their eyes open or closed. Or amazing. Well, they're all gonna be amazing. Yeah. All right. That's actually pretty good petal. It is a very good petal. Make sure you can turn your rock while you do your petals to help you get them the way you want them to look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do just little X's for these blue. So. Nice. I'm done with my flower, do you wanna see it? That is a very pretty flower. All right, so should we say goodbye for now? We'll share pictures when yours is totally done, okay? Uh-huh, All right. Bye. Say thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for we'll be back I soon. I hope you love it. We'll be back soon with more. And please make sure to subscribe if you don't, if this is your first rock painting video. <laughs> bye, everybody. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.